This is a stagger stance deadlift with a contralateral load. Now we're going to set up so that our back foot toes are lined up with front foot mid foot. And now I'm about hip width apart. I'm going to get heavy on this back foot. Think 80% of load in that left leg, 20% in the right. Now I'm going to be holding the weight contralaterally, so on the opposite side. So in this case, weight's going to be held in the right hand. Now I'm going to be shifting into my hip because it's a hinge. But what I want you to really think about is as you come into that hinge position, drive that right knee forward. Now I'm thinking drive it forward, but it's actually not going forward. What it's allowing my hips to do is to shift into this left hip to bias more internal rotation at the pelvis. So it's going to look like this, holding that weight in front over that left leg, hinge by driving that right leg forward, heavy on that left foot, push through the whole foot, stand up tall, hinge back into the hip, push through that left foot. Make sure you can feel that foot tripod the whole time. You're going to feel if you're doing this right, quite a bit of right or sorry, left inner thigh, hamstring and a little bit of glute knee to stretch on that back hip when you're in that back position. Now you're going to do that for the prescribed number of reps. A common mistake with this drill is that people will forget about driving that right knee forward and that right knee will actually come back. And now it's just a standard hinge, right? Where my pelvis is pointing straight ahead, as opposed to my pelvis being oriented with my zipper pointing towards that lead leg. So that's one of the most common mistakes here. So think, drive that right knee forward so we get that shift of the pelvis so we can load into that back hip. 